welcome to today's ride. I don't mind admitting, I'm finding it a little bit hard today. I think there are several reasons why I'm probably not feeling quite so strong on the bike today and the first one has to be that I haven't really been doing much cycling over the last couple of weeks. Today is only my third ride this week and the other two were a 45 minute uh, session on Zwift and then I did a little 12 and a half kilometre ride but before that uh, I hadn't ridden the bike for 10 days uh, for no real reason other than just general laziness and feeling a bit lethargic. The other reason why I may be finding it hard today is the wind. It's really really strong uh, and despite being nice and bright and sunny it's pretty cold because that wind is coming in from the northeast so basically straight off the Urals and from Siberia down to us so it's going to be very very chilly indeed. And finally I've got this funny thing going on with my breathing again so um, yeah that's just making things generally hard all round. Afternoon. to be fair. Um, over the last few months I've been very conscious of uh, a carbon dioxide intolerance that I've been hearing about. And the long and the short of it is that um, I'm, I'm trying to build up my tolerance to carbon dioxide and I think that's what's making the breathing a little bit difficult at the moment. Today I'm just out doing my usual little Southwark route, which if you don't already know is about 27 kilometres and it normally takes me about an hour and 15 on an average day. Probably a bit longer today in this wind. days like these that I'm jolly glad I'm wearing one of these cycling caps. With the sun really low in the sky it acts a bit like a sun visor keeping the sun and the glare out of my eyes.
couple of days ago, I did my first Zwift turbo training session of this winter off season. Now I am trying as hard as I possibly can to do all of my winter riding actually out on the road. I'm taking my inspiration from a couple of really good friends of the channel, Heidi and Barry, who are doing exactly that. Um, I don't think Heidi even has a turbo trainer, so all of her rides have to be on the road. And yeah, I'm trying to do the same. Now, although I did my first turbo training session a couple of days ago, it wasn't a proper one. I was just setting the, uh, the system up with all of the sensors and the trainer and everything, just to make sure that it was all working so that if I do need it, it's there and ready to go. eagle-eyed of you may have noticed that this vlog looks a little bit different and that's because I'm trying out an anamorphic lens for the GoPro Hero 9 and the GoPro Hero 9 has been very kindly lent to me by my cycling chum Jordan. Um, he runs a YouTube channel, I'll leave a link to his channel in the description so go ahead and subscribe but uh, that explains why the vlog today looks a little bit different. If you don't know what an anamorphic lens is, it's um, something they use to actually shoot feature films. Although obviously they cost thousands and go on proper cameras and this is just a little anamorphic lens for the GoPro. Basically it stretches it uh, vertically and then when I edit it I have to kind of shrink it down uh, and that accounts for the black bars at the top and the bottom. Well, unfortunately, the battery on the GoPro ran out as I was doing that last piece to camera. So it looks like I won't be finishing the whole vlog on that. Instead, I've switched over to the little Insta360 Go 2. So you'll probably notice uh, a difference. I hope you can hear me well enough. Uh, so just to recap, uh, yeah, today's ride was pretty tough. And my takeaway is not to leave riding the bike for too long. 10 days is far too long to leave it. I've certainly lost quite a lot of fitness in that time. So yeah, it's just clawing it back and trying to get back to where my fitness was. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>